Okay, welcome to this demonstration of Snowflake and streaming data. In this presentation, we will be using StreamSets, an uh, open source tool for um, manipulating, transforming, and streaming data into a database. So we're going to be using Snowflake and StreamSets together. So I'll give you a quick example of how to configure StreamSets to work with Snowflake, and then we'll go through a couple of practical demos, streaming some Twitter data into Snowflake, and then also pushing the boundaries uh, building a stream with around 10 million events a minute and pushing that into Snowflake in a very regular um, interval. So, first things first, um, you will need to sign up for a Snowflake account. Um, and then we can spin up a StreamSets account. We're going to use Amazon as the cloud in this instance. There is a AMI image in Marketplace, which is probably the easiest way to get up and running. We're going to spin one of those up. Um, because we're going to be pushing the boundaries a bit, I'm going to spin up a reasonably large one for this example. And we will launch that with my key. Okay, now while that's uh, launching, first thing you want to do is get the JDBC driver, which we'll need to upload to StreamSets. So within this Snowflake user interface, within your Snowflake account, if you go to the help portal, click on download, click on the JDBC driver, and this will take you to our repository for our Snowflake JDBC driver. Just grab the latest version and download that to your computer. Okay. Now, in terms of the stream sets image, you may want to configure some of your security groups as well. And now, what we're going to have to do, there are some usage instructions here, just three steps, I believe it is, three commands you have to run to get stream sets up and running. Uh, you can find them on my blog if you want to follow this tutorial step by step. Um, so, let's get our IP address and connect to the instance. So first thing we have to do is change our host file, put in our private IP address. already in there, no capital. So we run a U limit. Uh, this is a command that stream sets need. I'm not exactly why, sure why, but you can consult with the stream sets website uh, if you want to understand these commands a bit more. But we'll just set the stream sets uh, server to run and then we'll be able to access it using our IP address. So that should be running now on the AWS image. We'll just attempt to connect to that um, using the public IP address port 
I would suggest you change that. Okay, so the first configuration steps you want to do is um, get the Snowflake JDBC working. So you want to click on Package Manager and you want to enable JDBC, which isn't actually enabled by default. So we're going to install JDBC. And it's going to restart the data collector so that it instantiates that. So that shouldn't take long. Log back in. Okay, next we need to uh, upload the Snowflake driver. We do that um, through external libraries. So there's no additional drivers. Just click on the upload there, browse to uh, the driver that we downloaded, Snowflake JDBC, select that, click upload. And it's as simple as that. So we now have um, the Snowflake driver sitting within StreamSets, so StreamSets can now connect to Snowflake.